Beaver Achiever teaches computational thinking skills and the basics of coding through the use of blocks. In the game, students will use block coding to help a beaver with fun and engaging tasks. These tasks are designed to teach students some basics of coding such as sequencing and loops. The game consists of three chapters with more than 12 levels. Upon completion of a level, students can receive anywhere from one to three stars. One star, the beaver got his task done. Two stars, the beaver got his task done but did not use the shortest code possible. Three stars, the beaver got his task done and used the shortest code possible. Encourage your students to try and get three stars for each level. As students are playing, a message may pop up asking them to sign up. Students just simply have to click the X in the top right corner of the box to continue playing. If students make mistakes, the game will prompt to give them a hint. They click the hint and it shows them how to get the code started. They can click the orange arrow with the circle to start over and try again. For students to see their progress in the game, they can click the map at the top of the screen. The map will show them the levels they've completed with how many stars and how many more levels they have to go. They just simply click the X to get out of the map and return to their game. A couple of settings within the game, students can mute and unmute the game, as well as speed up or slow down how fast the beaver moves with the commands or functions. To delete a block, students just have to simply grab the block and drag it into the yellow space and let go. Students can also grab a couple of blocks at a time and drop them into the space to get rid of them. When students are introduced to loops, which is just a repeating function, they'll see a hand to guide them to show them how to begin. Students will click and drag the loop function and then follow the hand to guide them to what to loop over and over again, and then run the function. The difficulty increases as students progress along each level. To support students with this progression, they are provided with a guided hand to get them started. And if students make a mistake, that's great because problem solving is part of the process. Just remember, you can always point your students to the hints on each page. Once your students have completed all 12 levels, a map of the game with all levels colored in green will show up on their screen. This is how you know they will be complete. They can play a level again or play a new game. Happy coding!